What's up guys, it's Sammy Jesus here, back with another video, and on today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a jetpack game in Scratch 3.0. Right now, I'll put a preview on screen of the game that we will be making today. As you can see, there's a star menu, and there's coins and debris flying everywhere. The goal is to stay alive as long as you can, and collect as many coins as you can. Anyway, let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is to leave the Scratch Cat and make three new backdrops, just like this and make one backdrop color that will be the color throughout the entire game. For example, here's the color I like. Now what you want to do is you just want to take this color that you made and put it on the rest of the backdrops, just like this. Next, name backdrop 1, menu, name backdrop 2, load, name backdrop 3, game, and name backdrop 4, lose. So on the menu screen, all you want to do is just put a title near the top. For example, I'll just make my game called jetpack.io. For example, here's my title, I can change it later and make it look better, but for now, this is what I have. And then what you want to do is you just want to go down to the lose backdrop and right click the green flag to play again. For example, here's my lose backdrop. Now let's make and code the play button. First thing that you want to do is make a new sprite and call this play button. And all you have to do for now is just make a small little rectangle, change the art later, but for now, just get a button. After that, just make your play button. For example, here's mine, and once you're done with your play button, go to code. Then go to events, one green flag clicked, looks, set size to 100, go to motion, x, 0, y, 80, drag that onto there, go back into looks, grab a switch backdrop to, change this to menu, and put that on there. Next thing you want to do is go to events, when the sprite clicked, broadcast, make a new message, call it start, drag that onto the when the sprite clicked, looks, hide, then what you want to do is you want to go to events, one backdrop switches to, menu, looks, show, one backdrop switches to, duplicate this, and just change it to game, looks, hide. Now it's time for the hard part. I'll put it back on screen again, but this is when the play button is actually rotating and spinning. It looks really cool, but it's really complicated. You don't have to understand any of this, just make sure to follow along. Go to events, one good flag clicked, grab a forever loop, go to motion, point, in direction, Grab that in there. Go to operators, grab a plus block, and change this value to 90. Then grab a multiplication block, change the right side to 5, and put this in the left side of the addition block, just like that. Then drag the ABS of block out and change it to cause, and grab another multiplication block and put this inside the blank spot of the cause block. Then what you want to do is you want to go to variables, make a new variable, and call this tick speed. Press OK, and drag it inside the left side of the multiplication block inside the cause of block. After that, just on the right side of the tick speed times, blank, insert that blank with a 1. Finally, drag this cause of tick speed times 1 block, and put this on the left side of the multiplication block inside the addition block. So now this point in direction should look like this. Then go to motion, grab a change yy block, Go to operators, grab a multiplication block, and put this inside the change y by. Then on the right side of the multiplication block, just put 1, and on the other side, grab a ABS of block and change it to cause. Then grab a multiplication block and put this inside the blank spot, and on the right side, put 2.1. And on the left side, all you want to do is grab a tick speed block and put this inside just like that. Finally, grab this block and put it in the left side of the original multiplication block. Now your change y by should be looking like this. Finally, put this under the point and direction block. Now, go into looks and grab a change size by block. Go into operators, grab a multiplication block, and change the value on the right side to 0.3. Then grab an ABS of block and change the ABS to cause. Then grab a multiplication block and put this inside of here. Then on the right side, all you want to do is just put a 1. And on the left side of this, just grab a tick speed block and put it inside here. Finally, drag this cause block inside the left side of the multiplication block. Now it should be looking like this, and drag it in here. In one final step, go down to variables, and grab a change tick speed by 5, and put this under all of these scripts. As you can see, the play button is floating around, and everything's working, and when you click it, it hides. Also, make sure to uncheck the box next to the tick speed variable. Then, go to backdrops, go to events, grab a one good flag click block, and grab a when I receive start block. On the one good flag click block, go to looks, grab a clear graphic effects, and put that there. Then, for the when I receive start, switch backdrop to, change this to, load, go to control, repeat, 10, go to looks, change, change this to brightness, effect by 10, 
put this inside the repeat temp lock. Go to control. Wait, change this to three seconds. Put this under the repeat temp block and then grab another repeat temp block. Go back into looks and grab another change. Change this to brightness effect by negative 10. Then drag this inside the repeat temp block and finally go to switch backdrop to change this to game. If you think this way is too long, all you have to do is just change the 3 seconds to 0.3. And once you do that, everything will load a lot faster. Now, let's code the actual player for this game. Make a new sprite, make a new sprite, and design a skydiver. For example, here's the skydiver I made. Go to code. Once you're in code, go to my blocks, make a new block, and call this movement. After that, all you have to do is just press OK. And once you have done that, make a new variable and just call it X. Then grab a set x to zero, put this to the very top. Then go to control, wait until, put this under the set x to zero, go to operators, grab an or block, then go to sensing, grab two key press blocks, change one to A and change one to D, then drag these inside the or block. After that, go to control, grab an if then loop block, go to sensing, if, change this to key A press, put that inside there. Go to control, grab a repeat until block and put this inside here. Then go to operators, grab an or block, grab a not block and put this on the left side of the or block and grab an equals block and put this right here. And grab an equals block and put this right here. Then go to sensing, grab a key, change this to a press and put this in the not portion right here. Then go to variables, grab an x block and drag this all the way to the left side of the equals block. Change the x value equals 50 to negative 10. Then drag this inside the repeat until block just like that. Grab a change, change this to x by negative 0.5. Put this inside the repeat until block. Go to motion, go to change x by, go to variables, grab an x block and put this inside here. And once you have done that, go to events, grab another if then loop. Go to operators, grab an equals block and put this inside here. Next, change the 50 value to negative 10 and go to variables and grab an X box and put this on the left side of the equals. Then go into control, grab a repeat until block, put this here. Go to operators, grab a not, change this to sensing key, change this to A pressed. Inside there, put motion, change X by, go to variables and put X inside here. Then drag this under the repeat until block inside the if key a press loop. Then go back into control and grab a repeat until block. Inside the repeat until block, go to operators, grab an or block and put this inside here. Grab an equals block and put this on the right side of the or block. Change this value to zero and go to variables and grab an x block and put this on the left side of the equal sign just like that. Then go to sensing and grab a key a press and put this on the left side of the or go to variables change change this to x by 0.5 and once you have that drag this inside the repeat until block go to motion change x by put this under the change x by 0.5 go to my variables and grab an x block and put this inside the change x by now it should look like this Finally, drag the script under the if x equals 10 block, just like this, and inside the if key a press then loop. Now it should look like this. Now right click on the first repeat until block and press duplicate. Now I'll bring this over to the side. And what you want to do is make all the values in the script opposite. So for example, this change x by negative 0.5 becomes 0.5, and this change x by 0.5 becomes negative 0.5. So now all your values should look like this. Change all the key A pressed to key D pressed. And now go to control, grab an if then else loop block and put that there. And put this repeat until key D pressed in the bottom, so aka the else portion. Drag that right there. Then go to the repeat until if not key A pressed and put this inside here. And you have this if then loop block. Then take this if key A pressed and put this in the if then loop with the else portion. So now it should look like this. If that was confusing, I'm sorry. If you want to pause the video right now and double check your code to make sure everything's correct before we move on. And once you have checked that script, go to variables and make two new variables. Make one called coins and make another one called lives. After that, go to events, 
one backdrop switches to changes to game go to variables then grab two show variable blocks and change one of the coins and change one of the lives drag that under this one backdrop switches to game block go to looks grab a show block put that under there finally go to control grab a forever loop go to my blocks and put movement in there just like that after that go into events grab a when i receive make a new message and call this one death grab two hide variable blocks and change one of the coins and change the other one to lives just like that go to looks go to switch backdrop to changes to lose looks hide and the final script for the sprite is events one green flag clicked variables set changes to lives two three grab two hide variable blocks change one of the coins and change the other one to lives then put this under the set lives to three block. Go to looks, grab a hide block, put that right there. Go to control, grab a forever loop, and also grab a if then loop and put that inside the forever loop. Go to operators, grab an equals block, put this inside here. Change this side with the 50 to zero. And for the other side, go to variables, grab a lives block and put that right there. Then go to events, broadcast, change this to death, put this inside the if then loop block. Then go to control and grab a stop all block and put this under the broadcast death. And that's the end of part one. If part two is out, right now you'll see a video on screen with part two. If part two is out, click it and follow the tutorial. But if it's not, anyway guys, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.